Hey guys, uh, super pumped to show you this new product uh, that me and Nigel have just finished, Nigel Hendroff Ambient Guitars 2. Um, like the other version, we've got an M4A and we've got a Waves uh, version, or Wave version I should say. Um, there's also a main stage template version with it all pre-installed as well. Um, the M4A and the Wave version will also come with a bonus Ableton template. Um, it doesn't mean you need to own Ableton, but it means that if you do, um, you've got a bonus template in there as well. Um, just quickly, I'm just going to go to my website or the Multitracks website um, and just explain something just really quickly. If you're searching by software, you'll notice that um, under the Ableton software heading, it's only three here, but there's actually more that are kind of hidden away. So if you scroll down and go to the M4A or even the Wave version of these four products, they all come with bonus Ableton templates as well. Um, so at first glance, it kind of only looks like there's three, but um, there's Ableton templates and a few other products as well. So I just thought I'd mention that quickly. Um, okay, so the M4A version is just over a gig and the Wave version is, I think, 4.6 gigs. So if you've got limited space on your iPad or iPhone or Android or any playback device, um, obviously the M4A is a lot smaller and will take up less room. But there's the Wave version um, available as well if you want the full quality uh, Wave files. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up um, the old Nigel Hendriff Ambient Guitars, the first version, and we're going to do an A-B so you can hear the difference between the two um, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering what the difference is. Um, so let's bring up a mix. I'm just going to reduce the volume a bit and I'm going to bring up um, the mix of this new version and we'll do a little A-B. Okay, here we go. As you can hear, completely different tones. The first one has a prominent picking uh, string sound to it, and the second one was actually created with different reverb pedals and reverse delay and uh, looping features to create an ambience without um, that pick sound. So they actually work really, really well together. Um, you can mix them in your door. Um, you can actually mix them inside main stage um, as well. I'll show you how to do that with the main stage template. Um, but for now I'm going to open up Logic, something I've um, already set up. Um, what I've got here, I've got the Giant from my Ultimate Piano Collection, one of the presets there, and I don't have any additional reverb on it because I want you to hear the reverb um, embedded in these ambiences. Um, so this is just E mix from the Nigel Hendroff Ambient Guitars 2, um, just mixed in with a piano, so here we go. The thing that I like about the Nigel Hendroff Ambient Guitars 2 is it's always morphing and changing. It's not a stagnant kind of ambience, um, which you get sometimes from um, pads like these. Um, now I'm going to mix in E high and E mid from the original Nigel Hendroff Ambient Guitars um, and show you how they work together.
obviously you can blend to taste and if you really wanted to you could um, blend the two in either Logic or GarageBand or Pro Tools, whatever door you're using, um, and rebounce them out, and you'll have uh, a kind of a mixture of both. So that's up to you if you want to do that, but um, they sound really good um, mixed together. Um, another thing that people have asked me is, can you make these ambiences longer? Um, so these uh, new ones, actually 12 minutes, the old ones were seven because there were so many different um, files. Um, but it's really easy to make them longer. Um, you can do it in any door, like I said before, Pro Tools, GarageBand, Logic. Um, so the easiest way to do that is to select your cutting tool. Make sure um, you cut it after the fade in. Um, select it, copy, control C, go to the end of the file, paste it. Um, now I'll go back to the middle there. Okay, I've already kind of done this before, so it's already recognized um, that. Take out the um, fade out at the end, um, put them together, and then do a really long crossfade. Um, whoops, where's the crossfade tool? Here it is. Um, there we go. You can make it as small or as large as you want. Um, a relatively long one's probably good. Um, that way you won't hear it when it um, crossfades between the two. And if you're using another door like Pro Tools, um, just make sure that the crossfade's set on equal volume. Logic defaults to equal volume crossfading, but I don't know about all the other doors. Um, so I'll just play that um, and see if you can hear um, it crossfading. You shouldn't be able to. Um, it just sounds like one long ambience. So there you go, you got a 24 minute uh, long ambience instead of a 12 minute now. And then all you need to do is just um, bounce it in Logic. Um, Command B, um, set this thing up. You could have Normalize on to get it to the um, same volume as the original. Um, go OK, um, and you've got it um, bounced, but twice as long. Um, if you're using the main stage version, uh, the main stage template version with these ambiences, if you just uh, name it the exact same name and take away or delete, I probably wouldn't delete the originals just in case you want to go back to them, maybe zip them or put them on an external hard drive. If you bounce these new 24 minute long ambiences with the same name, um, main stage will be able to find it automatically. You won't have to re-import them. Um, so that's a handy little trick for doing that. Okay, um, I'm going to open up main stage now and show you that template. Let me see. Um, there we go. Um, before we go there, I'll just quickly mention this too. Um, if you're wanting to export this main stage template into another main stage template, check out exporting OB Ambient Pads because um, the Nigel Hendrif Ambient Guitars 2 and the OB Ambient Pads are set up the exact same way. So it's the same template. They even um, fade in and fade out um, exactly the same. So they blend really well together if you wanted to use them um, together. Um, so let's go back to this. I've already explained this before in my OB Ambient Pads video, but I'll quickly go over this. Um, obviously you've got all 12 keys, you've got a pad mix, which is mixing between the low and the high of these ambient uh, guitar pads. Um, we've got an EQ, it's a high, uh, low pass filter, sorry, a high pass filter, and that's taking out the mids. You can add extra shimmer. This is a master out affecting everything, and this volume is only affecting these ambient guitar pads. Um, this motion button is actually adding um, a slow panning um, plug into it so one pad will uh, fade to the right while the other one's going left so it actually widens the sound and gives it a lot of motion which is really cool um, and then you've got your panic button obviously just to reset MIDI if anything goes wrong okay I'm gonna add in that piano again and I'm just gonna play around with these and show you kind of what you can do with them in main stage okay Okay, I'm just going to play a couple of short uh, pieces of music. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to play yet, but um, yeah, let's see what happens.
So just a couple of quick examples, um, changing key, um, using the pad mix uh, knob as well to make it brighter and uh, more mellow. You can obviously make it even brighter by going the other way. Um, just before I go, I'm going to show you this little handy trick. So I'm going to grab the A-mix from the original Nigel Hendroff ambient guitars and I'm going to replace um, the low of the new version. So all you need to do, drag and drop and wait for it to load. Um, it's already loaded, that was quick, I think because I've done it before. Um, and now you've got um, the mix version from the original um, and the A high. Um, so I'll just show you that and you can mix them together. So there you have it. You can kind of mix the two together. You could even have um, just A, for example, with the um, old version and then the um, new version on E. And then you could bring in the OB ambient pads and have it on a different one. So your set could consist of multiple uh, different ambient pads for different song transitions. Um, so that's just another little trick um, you can do. You can pull in the OB ambient pads if you wanted to and mix them in with the guitar pads. Um, and you've just got the option of blending um, those together with this pad mix volume. So yeah, um, that's it from me. Thanks again for watching.